My name is Mark. I am a man who suffers with a disease NF2, or its actual name, neurofibromatosis type 2. This disease is where there are multiple tumors on your brain, brain stem, around the ears or eyes, and on the spinal cord. These tumors could appear at any time. For NF2, the tumors are inside the nervous system, so most people don't know you have them unless you show or tell them. As for NF1, the tumors are outside the nervous system. This would make a person's skin very lumpy and bulky, depending on how many tumors you may have. <clears throat> Thankfully, these tumors are most likely non-cancerous, but they are still very life-threatening if not taken care of properly. So for my, so for my case, my mother had this disease. It's more than likely for boys to have this disease, and since I was biologically female, my parents thought I was going to skip my generation. At the start of 2018, during January 24th, my mother unfortunately passed away due to this disease. She was a woman who was tan, lost muscle in one of her legs, and was deaf. As she got older, she had lost the ability to walk as time went on as well. She unfortunately passed, to, passed while I was in school, but I don't let that burden me because I know she's no longer in pain. The reason I'm making this video is because at the end of December 2019, I had just gotten done with watching a concert from my cousin. My aunt saw my face spazzing out. And just before this, I had lost vision in one of my eyes and had frequent throwing up spells. It would just happen at random. My aunt had noticed my deviated tongue, and that's when I got sent to the ER. At the ER, they discovered that because I was having these problems, there was a tumor about the size of a softball on top of my brain. Obviously, that's terrifying, but the next morning I was sent to surgery immediately. Over 21 hours, but they removed it. The, the side effects had led to my entire right side being paralyzed. I was probably paralyzed for at least 3-4 to four weeks until I could weakly move my arm. <clears throat> When I was fully able to move it, I was still very weak on the side and needed the rest of the month for physical therapy. I complained a lot, definitely, but knowing that if those women didn't push me, I probably wouldn't be as good as I am now. Ignoring the COVID period, I also started experiencing seizure after a shunt failure. We had assumed that a seizure happened because of a shunt failure. If you're not aware of what a shunt is, a shunt is basically a hole or a small passage that moves or allows movement of fluid from one part of the body to another. They replaced this and thought the issue was fixed. It was not for I experienced another seizure. That's when I was put on Keppra, a 500mg dose to stop my seizures. I was put on this dose once I had a very severe seizure in a car ride. I was sent to the ambulance. I had been on this medicine ever since. It basically sends the brain signals to prevent the seizures from happening. And yes, this medicine has nausea side effects. The reason I want to talk about this is because it frustrates me that people will assume things about you instead of just, you know, talking to you. So many people have thought I was a stroke patient due to my facial paralysis. I myself am currently on a medical dose named Avastin to prevent my tumors from growing. Although this medicine thins my blood and I cannot have any surgery due during this trial, I have been half blind and half deaf ever since these conditions. And the reason I explain this on today's video is because I am so annoyed. I am so fucking annoyed. My school has AIDS, and most of them are told I am blind, deaf, can't walk, and nonverbal. I don't know who the hell tells them this. They would just have to talk to me to find things out. That's why I'm so frustrated. And as of right now, I am trying to lose weight. The medicine of Vastin causes weight gain. So, you can imagine that situation for me. Not a lot of people even know what NF2 even is, so I hope this sheds some light for you and maybe you learned something today. This disease is very rare, and so I want, I wanted to bring some light to it. I want to know if you suffer with a type of disease, whether it's NF1, NF2, or even NF3, because I found out that's a thing. Even though I've never heard of NF3 in my life. It was just recently discovered, like, I think, I don't know, as of... Last year, 2022, late 2022. I also want to know if you have a friend or family member who also suffers with just any disease, because this disease is horrible, and I just, I don't know, it just sucks. But I manage. <clears throat> it's going to be different for everyone, I'll tell you that. But to keep that in mind, it's different for everyone. No one experiences the same things. Like, and for here's an example. For my mother's case, 
what she had is she never experienced she had had a brain fart she never had experienced see when she was diagnosed with it she had found a spinal it was on her spinal cord a 12 foot long tumor on her spine as for me obviously like i said it was on it was a softball sized tumor on top of my brain she had seven surgeries i only had big three ones I had three big ones and two minor ones being the surgeries. But yes, my name is Mark, and let me know if you learned something new today. See you guys later, and I hope that... I know I'm not a great talker. I am horrible at public speaking, so recording myself is way better than doing this. Like, if I were a, a public... Like, say, if I had a presentation... Yeah, no, couldn't do it. But genuinely, if you want to know something more about this, or like you learned something new today, please let me know. I might start talking about this more because I've learned and not a lot of people even know that the, that word exists. So, see you guys later.